Good day everyone and welcome to Common Prayer. Today we're looking at 1 Peter chapter 2, which is all about our exterior lives. I'm sitting on the front deck of my house. A lot of houses in Dolby have front decks which face the public, which face the road. I've got a back deck which is part of my interior life. No one can see that, but people can see us if we're on our front deck. And 1 Peter 2 is all about how we live on our front deck, how we live in public. Remember, in 1 Peter, Peter is writing to a group of churches, a group of people in different churches who are under the pump. They're being heavily persecuted. They're being persecuted by the people around them, the general public. And so Peter reminds the people of God, that they are the people of God. He reminds them that they're loved by Jesus and they are agents of his grace. And he reminds them that they are to live their lives based on the cornerstone, the stone the builders rejected, who God has made the capstone. This fulfillment of prophecy describes how Jesus should be the foundation of all things and should be the foundation of our lives. Even though the builders rejected Jesus, we build our lives on him and we live out of love for him. And so Peter tells the people to live such good lives among the pagans. Pagan just means someone who worships creation. Pagan just means someone who worships the things of the earth. And Peter tells us to live such good lives among them that they might see our good deeds and perhaps come to a knowledge of Jesus Christ. But more controversially, Peter writes this, Submit yourselves for the Lord's sake to every human authority, whether to the emperor as the supreme authority, or to governors who are sent by him to punish those who do wrong and to commend those who do right. For it is God's will that by doing good you should silence the ignorant talk of foolish people. Live as free people, but do not use your freedom as a cover-up for evil. Live as slaves to God. Show proper respect to everyone. Love the family of believers. Fear God. Honour the emperor. Honour the emperor. It was the emperor who hated Christianity. It was the emperor who was ordering all these persecutions. It was the emperor who was behind the nation's idolatry. And yet Peter here is telling the people to honour the emperor. And that's exactly what we are being told to do, friend. Peter goes on to give an example of how Jesus submitted to the earthly rulers in order to win our salvation. And Peter talks about how God has instituted those rulers. He's put them in place. And so, friends, as Christians, we are called to submit to our human leaders, whether they're Christians or whether they're not, whether they're good leaders or whether they're bad leaders, whether they're competent or whether they're incompetent, because God has put them in that place. Of course, we don't submit to them uh, and use our freedom to do evil. We don't say, oh, well, the emperor told me to um, sin and be idolatrous. No, but we do submit to our leaders in all things good and godly in the hope that our reverence for our ultimate leader, God, will win people for Christ. And so, friends, that's my encouragement for you, to honour the emperor in your lives. How can you show honour to the leaders and rulers that God has put in place? And how can you shine God's light by showing that honour and living such good lives among the pagans that you might win them over to Christ? My prayer for you comes from Monday evening prayer, and it says this. God, who wonderfully created us and even more wonderfully restored our humanity, strengthen us by your Holy Spirit to triumph over suffering and death and grant us eternal joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, have a great day, everyone. Keep living for Jesus on your front deck, and we'll see you next time. God bless.